This should be just a quick meeting. Roger, you're muted if you're talking to us. Oh, he's gone. Must not have been talking to us. How's the weather there, Marianne? Beautiful. Is it? It's, yeah. I mean, it's rained almost every day for more than a week, but not, you know, not a lot of, not, it hasn't been a problem. Mm -hmm. you know, like showers here right. and there right. enough to keep everything nicely watered. So we don't have to water anything. Um, but, and it's warm. And today, I don't think it's, it might've been like misty this morning, but, and it rained overnight, mm -hmm. um, but it's been a beautiful day. So, um, and it's nice. Cause I have this nice porch that I can sit out on, um, for Zoom meetings. So, and then, Lovely. um, so and the puppy can't get me. So, uh, so, uh, so. When's the puppy going to come to a meeting? Oh, she's been to a few meetings. Um, she doesn't behave well. <laughs> so, um, but she's getting better. Sometimes if a meeting, um, you know, sometimes if she's sleeping um, and I'm in a meeting, that can work. But then once she's up, especially at night, she's just kind of crazy. So um, I had one meeting that was an executive session and I had her with me because she was sleeping. And then it was an executive session. So in an executive session, you have to say that there is no one in the room with you. Um, and so I couldn't call anyone to come get her. Um, because, um, uh, so, um, so she was biting me and it was really it was awful. So, but anyway, but she's getting better. Hi, Elaine. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Elaine, uh, the other morning I drove by and you were out for a walk with Jesse. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually cried a little bit. It was so beautiful. You imagine, I imagine it makes you emotional. You know? Well, I am sitting here. I can uh, give you a little preview of yeah. what she got for her baby shower. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, oh the books. nice. Nice. Everything it, it was all books uh -huh. with her baby nice. shower. So yeah. yeah, it was pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, Lauren and uh, Roger. This is my first grandchild. Ah, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How old? Hmm? Oh, How old she is... he's not born yet. Oh, oh. He's not. He'll be born at the end of August. Ooh. Oh, Marianne said you were out walking with somebody and I just. Oh, that was my daughter. Baby. My daughter oh, was daughter. here for uh, for the weekend. Uh -huh. OK. Yeah, and, you know, and she just she's pregnant and beautiful. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, you know, and it just it made me happy, you know. <laughs> so, me, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Yes. That's amazing. I also saw you walking on Sunday. Oh, your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> there's no secrets <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no secrets anymore she was trying to keep it a little bit uh quiet but it's like well jess you can't anymore <laughs> no 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 so where does she not live? when it's 90 degrees <laughs> she lives uh just outside of dc in arlington yeah we get to see her a lot though you know, that's a lovely train ride if you like trains. Yes, it is. It really is a very nice train ride. But usually we just drive down there. It takes about seven and a half hours. Mm -hmm. First time we drove down there in COVID, it only took us six and a half because <laughs> there was no traffic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Of course, so now I don't know that Neil will be with us at the start, but he'll join in as soon as he can if he. Okay.
Hello, Dale. Hello. And here we go. Here's Jeff. Dale, have you seen the polls going in? Yes, I yes. have seen the polls. Yes. How uh, could you miss them? Yes. <laughs> uh, Yes. Lauren, have have we told you yet that they're putting in phase three power here in Shootsbury? It came uh, up in our last meeting. Yes, yes, yes that's yes. that's Perfect great timing. news. Perfect timing. Yes, it is. So there, I mean, there, you know, the polls are already up to the center of town, and then they've started to go down Wendell Road already. So it's amazing yeah. that once they said they were going to do it, it was like, oh, yeah. they're doing yes. it. <laughs> yes, yes. I imagine it was in the works and we just didn't know about it because why would we know about it? And then they, you know, one day last week, I think they started dropping poles and now they're just out there. And boy, that drill thing that they, they have this giant drill yeah. that drills the hole for the pole. Um, I don't know how deep it goes, but it must go pretty deep. Um, you know, that pole must be pretty deep in the ground. Yeah, and then, yeah, um, yeah. yes. Um, and uh, so anyway, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So yep. there's well, one across from the post office already, uh, right on the corner of the common. So it's turned Wendell Road and they're going mm -hmm. down. One, two, three. Which four. side of the road are they on? They the bounce back and forth. forth. As long as they don't put one right where we want the driveway. Yeah, right. I, yeah. yeah, there's not. No, no, there's not one. No, it's um, on the other side of the room. Yes. Oh, what a thought. Um, <laughs> um, we'd be moving the driveway. <laughs> um, okay, we're uh, waiting for Penny and Brett. Brett. It's not quite seven. Brett. Yep. Right. Hmm. Are we expecting Matt and crew? No. No? no. Okay. Penny did say that uh, she was coming back from the Cape, and um, I think it was the Cape, and she would not have minutes available. So we don't have any minutes to uh, okay. approve. Okay. So is there a um, meeting of CONCOM on the 22nd? So yes. Yes. And that's at what time? Seven o'clock, she has us on there. And Odin Zello is available for that. Okay. Um, I already yeah. confirmed that. Okay, it is seven o'clock. Um, would anybody... Um, volunteer to take some brief minutes for us so that we could get started at least and then I'm sure Penny will be here and she'll take over. I'll do it. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. <laughs> You're okay. welcome. It is seven o'clock. I want to 701. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Um First order of business is public comment. Is there any public comment? Mike, I think you're the only one that's public here, so. Uh... No, nope, nothing tonight. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's Penny. Hi, Penny. We just uh, opened the meeting at 7.01. Thank you. And there was no public comment. 
So I will close the public comment portion. We do not have minutes uh, for the meeting um, from our previous meeting. Oh, Amanda, I'll give you a chance if you have public comment since we're uh, still in the public comment um, phase. Any public comment? Okay, hearing none, um, I did, we do not have minutes from our previous meeting. And so we will have them at, at our next meeting, I'm sure, but that's fine. So let's go on to the schematic design, um, the uh, budget. Did you all receive Mary Ann's notice um, from Neil? And yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Would anybody like to uh, make any comments on this? So I assume that means Neil believes that under the contract that they are entitled to additional compensation. Yes, and Becky also. Uh, that was some. That was a sticking point in the contract negotiations. Um, that they, um, so they were concerned going into schematic design that the cost estimate was high and so they what the contract um is based on the budget after the schematic design so yeah. um, okay after the schematic design right like then they well, once we have a schematic design then they have to design a building that's not, I think it's 5% more than the cost estimate for the schematic design. But we're still in schematic design. Right, right. So, but they, but the, but they, the contract covered 12 weeks of schematic design and we've, ex, we've exhausted that yep. and all the meetings budgeted for. Um, and if we're going to redo the schematic design, then um then we have to have you know then they have to do more work their subcontractors have to do more work yeah. and yeah yep. okay i just want to make sure our contract agreement was in line with this okay because i looked at the numbers for five weeks of work i think their numbers are right on I don't think they're I don't think they're gouging us. I think they're yeah. fair. Lauren. Thanks. I, I don't need it tonight, but I did not receive Neil Joyce's commentary. If somebody could just send that to me. He point. he didn't send any commentary. Um so there was so Matt sent the yeah, uh, I got that. Yeah, oh, okay. that's all. There I'm is. sorry. I just yeah. I yeah. just read it as Neil's. I'm sorry because yeah. yeah. oh, it okay. was too Neil. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, Thanks. I mean, Neil and I had a conversation about it before it even came, but the, he didn't send any written commentary about it. Marianne, could you um, explain what the conversation entailed with Neil? So yeah. he um, he told me that. Uh, that uh, sort of a re a uh, uh, second schematic design wasn't covered on the under the contract, and that Matt was preparing um, uh, whatever he called this document a a, a fee proposal. Um, we'll call it that. It has a title. Additional uh, services yes, proposal. Yes, that Matt was preparing an additional services proposal, and that. Um, and that he had um, explained to Matt that our budget was really tight and that he expected him to be as fair as possible. And so then, and then he said that Matt would be calling me. And so then, um, so then I didn't, uh, when Matt called the next day, I didn't have time to talk to him, but we scheduled a talk and he and I talked about it. And um, 
And I, and I do believe that Matt is working very hard and trying hard to understand the scope of this project and our um, sort of cost constraints and, um, and, uh, and, you know, and we're, we're sort of, we're, we're doing an experiment. Um, and it's, 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 you know, experiments are messy. Um, and, um, and, and I, and I think he's, um, I think he's trying to be fair. And I don't think he's really, I don't even know that he's, you know, he's, he has his subcontractors contractors who had contracts and he's asking them to redo their designs. And then, you know, and then he's got a staff that he's paying to do this. So, you know, so like, while, you know, all of this is, um, is so much money. Um, I think that this is just in line with the range of what things cost. We go back to explaining the five percent thing again. So we have a cost estimate that's really high. Right. You know, we're going to reduce the scale of the building and again do other cuts, and then we're going to get another cost estimate at another dollar amount right. that'll come up with a new construction cost. And then. How does the five percent relate to that? So then, so the way that the contract was originally written, and it was kind of like boilerplate contract language, it said that the the final design had to come in within five percent of the original contract, or the you know, like they're they're required to come up with the final design that that is within 5% of the original budget. And, which, and that language, I, well, it would have been the schematic design, but that language goes back to when you have a schematic design before you get the cost estimate, right? So, so we didn't have a cost estimate before we, a, a schematic design before we had a cost estimate. We had these con conceptual cost estimates based on a building program. So it was a lot of, you know, they, they, um, it's not something that's not ever done, but they didn't have the level of detail that they had for the schematic in that schematic pricing set, right? So, um, basically they had square footage is, um, so, um, so then in the contract, and we'll have to go and look, I, I don't, I didn't go back and look, but he, he we changed the language so that it's, so that, in the next phase, he has to deliver a design that's within a certain range of the budget for the budget from the schematic design. Want me to see if I can get Becky? Can I can I um, explain what I think you're saying? And yes. Okay. So. <clears throat> When we first when we first started, and uh, we were talking with ENO about this, um, they were concerned that the budget figures that we had gotten a year and a half ago were uh, not going to be accurate because there were several things, two things I think, missing from that budget. Does that sound correct so far? So they didn't want to agree to having a cap on that number. And the way the contract was then written was until there's a budget that we get for the schematic that they're doing, uh, there will not be the 5% cap. So once this is reworked and we get a new a budget estimate for for the schematic, then there will be the five percent cap on that. Does that sound correct? Correct, and then that will take you through through the final bid number. Correct. So a five percent cap on the July cost estimate, because they're yes. talking about going to cost estimate in July, right? 
Well, the new cost estimate after yeah, this correct. next schematic design. Yeah. So we, yeah, so, right. Yeah. And then when you go to bid, if the bid numbers are more than 5%, he owes making the design changes to get the price down again. Right. Okay. Yes, that's it, Roger. So, but he okay. did, yes. Yes. Just want to make sure we're all clear. We yeah. all see through the mud. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is Penny. I have a question, I guess, maybe for Roger. Um, uh, I feel like we're being penalized somewhat because Matt didn't listen well enough initially. Um, am I being unreasonable? Not, not completely. I kind of have that same opinion that, you know, we did, I think, from that original program, increase the square footage when you figured in the actual laying out in, in some of the non-program spaces, circulation and such, I think that did increase the square footage. Um, but there were things from that original budget that he identified and that were identified that they didn't have numbers for and weren't included. Um, I haven't seen that original design, but I'm kind of just guessing that a lot of the site work and, and utilities and things were kind of guesswork but in not knowing where the building was going to be placed. Um, but yes, he did identify in, that he didn't know the cost of the items that were excluded from that first estimate from a year and a half ago. So that was in the as Marianne said, one of the negotiating things in the that was worked through in the contract. Yeah, I, I mean, when I so he kind of did what he said was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not, you know, out of the blue or anything. Um, Thank you. Any other comments, questions? I guess the major thing is then that we need to vote um, on whether to accept this mm -hmm. new bid or new proposal. proposal. Thank you, new proposal. So do I hear a motion? to accept the new proposal. Okay, one more question. Um, mm -hmm. So the new proposal is something like $62,000, is that 60, right? $68,180. Mm -hmm. Of which Shootsbury owes 25% of that or all of that? 25%. 25%? Mm-hmm. It depends on whether you end up going forward or not. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Molly. Um, it says that there's only two meetings um, in this. Is that going to be enough? Is that um, actually true? Is so. So two meetings. He's. I asked him what he meant by the two meetings, and uh, and so he meant two design subcommittee meetings and we have one tomorrow and then one again in two weeks um, and then I asked him if he'd be willing to go to the conservation commission meeting on the 22nd because I think um, it would be important to have him there and he said yes and that there would be no additional fee okay um, and um, and so you know this fee proposal is to get us ready to for them to develop another pricing set to send off to another mm -hmm. cost estimator. So, um, so I, so I think it, it's we're going to make it be enough because okay. we also want to move quickly. Right. I just wanted to check that that yeah. wasn't going to be a. Stop. We're also kind of kind of detouring and then going back onto the regular track of the next right. phase and whatever meet, number of meetings were included in that. Right. And meeting with other committees and boards. I think we're back 
back into the regular parts of the contract. And so this, as long as we do complete this project with the MLBC grant, this cost would be $17,000 to us. Is that correct, Lauren? Being 25%? I haven't done the math, but if that's well, I have. Yeah. percent then yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the OE proposal. For additional services? For additional services. Do I hear a I'll second? Start. I'll second. Any further discussion? I'll take a roll call vote, Marianne. And Nellis, aye. Stephen? Dalmas, aye. Dale? Poole, aye. Penny? Abstain. Molly? Aye. Moss, aye. Jeff? Michael Bush, aye. Paleo, aye. Okay. Motion passes with one abstention. Is there any other business that people have that uh, didn't come forward that's necessary? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second, Dallas. Roll call vote. Mary Ann. Dallas, aye. Stephen. Aye. Dale. Pool, aye. Penny. Aye. Molly. Moss, aye. Jeff. Welcome, Bush, aye. And Elaine Paleo, aye. We ended the meeting at 718. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, just uh, Marianne and, and Elaine, the next committee meeting, will that be back on the two week schedule? I, or is that I think decided we decided the next, the next library building committee meeting would be Tuesday, July 11th. Is that right? Yes. Um, because the, yeah, because I think the first Holiday. is the fourth. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll see many of you at the sub design committee meeting tomorrow. Okay, and I didn't at eleven um, thirty. At right, 11:30. it's at eleven thirty. I didn't. Um, I didn't get around to posting it as a library building committee too. So people who aren't on the design subcommittee should just sit and listen. Okay. Yep. All righty. Yep. Okay. All righty. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, okay. everyone. Yeah. Marianne, do you have Nine. a minute? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.